Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Do Something. I got another uh, Let's Cook for you. I uh, forgot the name of the show. Anyways, recipe of my own. Not gonna bore you with the details. I, I, I actually don't have a recipe. <laughs> so we're gonna make it. I wanna make some chicken and I wanna throw it into a uh, uh, like a quesadilla type thing. Um, cheap, easy, just things that I have laying around. I bought some chicken because I was gonna cook something nice and then uh, and Uh, anyways, so not gonna cook nice. Um, I already ate all my vegetables. Sorry. So we're gonna do this without vegetables because, like I said, I already ate them all. Um, I got hungry. I steamed them. It was nice. Should have made the chicken, but you know, I thought ah, quesadilla type thing. Hey. Anyways, let's just go ahead. Let's jump into it, start from here, go from there, move into it. All right, so in order to do this, you're gonna need a few things. You're gonna need chicken, you're gonna need spices, you're gonna need some uh, taco bread, um, lots of butter, lots of cheese. Because we're gonna take this chicken breast, we're going to uh, cook it, and we're gonna slice it up. I'm gonna get rid of some of the fat on here. That was just too too chunky of a fat. I like it to have a little fat, not not a huge chunk on it. Anyways, we're gonna go ahead. Um, we're going to get the taco bread ready, and uh, and it's not gonna cook until the chicken's ready. But at the very least, we can get it prepared and out of the way. So let's go ahead and do that for this. We're going to get the butter. And you're going to take this butter and you are going to coat the inside with it, right? Just really go to town on this thing. Now this isn't going to be exactly a quesadilla, but it will be pretty good. You flip it over, just a light coating on the back side of it. Now I put that on my pizzazz. Now you can see I left a lot of butter on there, and that's fine. I like butter. Also, now it's buttered. Get a little bit more in there, a little bit more. Ooh. A little harder to move when it's slippery, but again, done. Save time. So we're gonna put that there. We're gonna add some spices to that in a little bit, but we are done for now. And the reason I'm saying we're done for now is because we're gonna get a little messy with this chicken, and uh, I wanna make sure those are already buttered. So we're gonna take some uh, salt, I'm gonna put it on there, flip her over, put it on there. We're gonna take some pepper, put it on here. I like a lot of pepper, right? We can do that, all right, that's good. Pepper, salt is done. Now we're gonna break into some other spices. Okay, now the first of these spices it's going to be just a little oregano. A little oregano never hurt anyone. Just pour a little bit on there, wipe it in, you know, really maybe massage it in a little bit. You know, this chicken's worked pretty hard. I want to give it a little bit extra. Then we're going to go ahead, we're going to pop off some garlic, right? Again, not a whole lot, just work it in. I think I put a lot more than I wanted. But hey, you know what? It needs it, alright? And then, just when you thought I was done, which you probably weren't, a little bit of ground cinnamon. Now, the trouble with ground cinnamon is it can be overpowering. So I put it in my hands, and now I'm just rubbing it in, so that way 
It's not too much, but it should give it that little, little bit of that uh, cinnamon snap that everybody's so fond of. And then, now, you actually thought I was done, but Tony's Creole seasoning. It's really good. I like to use it on a lot of my stuff. Um, it's good. Everything but cereal. And this, I am actually going to put a lot on. Um, it's got a lot of different seasonings and stuff inside of it. It's really, it really is great on everything. And, it's a, and then that, that's what they say. So let me just give you a little image here. Yeah, that's pretty well coated. Um, but are we done yet? Not quite. So now I have my iron skillet. Um, I'm going to take a large, la, la large chunk of butter. We're going to throw it in there. Then I'm going to take a smaller chunk of butter. This is too much. And I'm going to throw it on the chicken. And now I'm going to rub it all around the chicken because the chicken's going to sit in here. So I want to make sure that every part of it is just getting this buttery goodness. I mean, look at that. Look at it go. That is how a chicken, oh, that's, that is how a chicken should look. Um, really gross and disgusting and full of butter. That's what life was made for. So we're going to go through and we're going to have it just sit right here. We're going to, it's going to marinate, right? I'm going to turn that oven on, or the pan on, and we're going to just put it on a high. Well, now, it's kind of just sit here and wait, right? So, as you can see, I uh, am literally just rubbing this stuff in here. See if I can get a better image for you. Yeah, I'm just grabbing this butter and just going to town. Now, it needs, it really needs to be soaked in the butter. Um, I might have, th th this is too much butter. Let's just, let's just be honest here. Let's just be real honest. The too much butter, it's fine. We got it. It's cool though. We got it. So, let's take a moment to let this cook. As you can see, I uh, am literally just rubbing this stuff in here. Yeah, I'm just grabbing this butter and just going to town. Now, it needs, it really needs to be soaked in the butter. Um, I might have, th th this is too much butter. Let's just, let's just be honest here. Let's just be real honest. The too much butter, it's fine. We got it. It's cool though. We got it. So, let's take a moment to let this cook. Alright, you can really hear that boiling. Look at that. So I gotta turn the temperature down a little bit. We're gonna add one more thing to that. I'm gonna put some olive oil in. Um, it just generally makes chicken good. Not a whole lot, but the oil and the butter should be good. And you can see, look at that. That is definitely going to town. We're gonna throw the chicken in now. It's only been a couple minutes. And uh, every now and then we're gonna move it. We're gonna, but we're gonna let it go for about seven minutes there. So while that's cooking, we're gonna jump to the next part. As you can see, we have our taco bread. So I'm gonna move one of these back now that I don't need it. And we're gonna, again, this time we're just gonna apply a little bit of garlic. 
Just spread that in with the butter there. It should be all right. So we're good there. The next part is we're gonna put cheese in it. What kind of cheese, you might ask? Well, I mean, it is taco bread. So, Mexican cheese. Right? Oh, there's a lot right there, yeah. This is good. Yeah. But on top of that, we're gonna go with mozzarella, because it's always good. Yeah, that should work. So now that is ready to go. Now we're not gonna put it on the other one. The other one's gonna sit flat on this when the chicken's ready. The chicken is all I care about. All right guys, you see I put the chicken, it's got that real nice golden brown texture to it. It's really good. This is definitely something that I'm going to enjoy. There's one more thing. See this tub here? This is all bacon grease. And while now it's mostly cooked, I'd like to add a little bit more flavor to it. So we're gonna pour a little bit of bacon grease in here. That was a lot. That was a lot of bacon grease. But, it'll give it that bacon flavor so you won't be able to tell if it's chicken or ham. Alright, I'm going to flip it over, see if it's done. Look at that. That is pretty close. Now you know what they say about pretty close? Not quite done. But, there's something I want to do. So, we're going to go ahead and we're going to take it out of the pan for right now. And I'm actually going to turn this down to a low while it's doing it. So, we're going to go through. I'm going to just real quick throw it right here on this cutting board. You can't see it. I'm going to take my handy dandy flour knife and we're just going to cut strips. This knife is actually working for once. Now the thing is is that I really don't know how to cook so I can tell you if this is done yet. I doubt it. I really doubt it. Look how pink that is. I don't know. I don't think that's how it's supposed to look. But the good news is, is that it's cooked enough. Let's go ahead and start tossing pieces in. It was hot! So you can see, I am not a chef, and I am just literally making this up as I go. This is a mix of butter, olive oil, and bacon grease. I don't think you're ever supposed to mix those. Must be like mustard gas or something. But while this is in here, you sure got easy to cut. So I just want to. Uh, why is this working better than my knife? I thought my knife was working pretty good, but this is working way better. Yeah. So this is definitely going to work out way better. Everything's going to get nice and good. I think we'll be fine there. I'm going to add a tinge bit more of pepper because I really like pepper and I don't think you can go wrong with pepper. And I need spice. Spice up your life. <laughs> Anyways. It is now time that we turn on the pizzazz. Now I'm only going to put it on for a couple minutes to start. Get it warmed up and start to go. So this is just going to get in there a little bit. I think we'll be fine there. All right, I think the chicken's about done. I'm gonna take a bite, try it out, and see how it goes. 
It's uh, it's really hot, but uh, this might be the best chicken I've ever had in my life. Oh my god, it's so juicy. I almost don't want to put it in there. I might only put a little bit in there. This is amazing. I have a great chef. Tell all the single ladies that, alright? My hair's all messed up. Let me fix it. I'm a great chef. Mm -hmm. So I think it's time to let's just throw some of it in there. I think that'll be great. Throw that in. Probably all that that can take. All right, so that's going to be cooking. Let's go ahead. We're going to throw this on top, and we're going to put it on eight. Usually around eight is where this gets pretty crispy. So if I do that, we should be all right. Obviously, it's going to be open on the sides. But, you know, that's just the struggle we live with these days. Now I do have the leftover chicken here, and it is great. Oh my god. This is so good. That girl had no idea what she was missing out on. Mm. Oh, it's still recording. Alright guys, so you can see this is done. So let's go ahead and jump into it. Alright, let's take a bite of this. Hmm. Man, I impress myself every day. Let me see it in there. Now, this is good. So, I guess what I'm going to say is uh, follow this recipe. 100%. It's great. And, if, uh, you like this video like comment subscribe um, let me know what else you want me to cook I will probably do that or I'll just you know plan a meal and have it ruined again so hey works in your favor doesn't it anyways thank you for uh, joining us have a great day stay classy and have fun out there You like me yet? Yeah.